Hey everyone, welcome back to another high protein snack. On my quest to have better snacks during the day, especially when I fancy something a little bit sweet, um, I've been looking at this um, fuel oat muffin uh, cake type thing, which is done in the microwave and it has 11 grams of protein, high in fiber, and you just add water and literally stick it in the microwave. So I don't know what this is gonna taste like. Um, the ingredients show that it's made with oats, uh, it's got fat reduced cocoa powder, my dog, so it's, just, it's actually sweetened rather than having sugar in there, but it has got some sugar in there. You can probably see that. So if you look at the kind of values on here, so it's got 172 calories for, per serving, so each, each box as such. Um, 4.6 grams of fat, um, 1.6 grams of um, fat which is saturated, carbohydrates are 19.3 grams, and which is sugars, 5.6 grams, 4.2 grams of fiber, protein, 11.2 grams, and salt, one gram. So I pretty much think that this is gonna be a case of literally sticking some water up to the level, giving it a mix, and I'll let you know what this tastes like. So I was supposed to add 70 ml of water. I added a little bit too much, it pulled out a little bit too quick, but we'll see how we get on with this. So I'm now gonna stick it in the microwave for 45 to 50 seconds to see what it looks like. Okay, so I've literally had that in for 50 seconds. Got it, it actually started to rise a little bit and we have now got this thing in front of us. Let me just see, just double check that. It said 45 to 50 seconds, cooking time will vary to your micro power. Okay, at least stand for approximately 30 seconds and enjoy. Yeah, so it looks kind of cakey consistency. Um, so I'm just going to give it a few seconds before I actually try it, but it's got a kind of sponginess. It looks nice. It looks tasty. It smells nice. It smells really kind of chocolatey, a bit like a muffin, like you expect, really. So it's got a little bit of liquid and then kind of harder stuff at the bottom, but it looks really good. So let's just see. So it looks kind of cakey slash watery, but that could be because I put a little bit too much water. But actually, I'm, I'm quite happy with it to be a little bit more pudding-like rather than it being super dry. So... Um, yeah, let's just see what it tastes like. Just give it a bit of a blow. That's not bad. Um, yeah, it does taste muffiny. Um, you can taste the sweetener. It doesn't taste super sweet. So it's not really, really sweet. It's not super, super chocolatey. It's kind of like that kind of Nesquicky taste of chocolate. It's got a nice bite to it because of the oats. And that, yeah, that is a nice snack. So that's pretty decent. If you're after something with a little bit of a chocolate fix, I think that's gonna be quite a nice treat. Um, doesn't taste amazing. I mean, like you could get for probably, let's see, so it's, we're talking, so it's 172 calories. So effectively you could get some Maltesers and have less calories than this and have a small bag of Maltesers potentially. Um, it's probably gonna be around 140 calories. So it kind of depends what you're after really. If you're after something more cakey, then obviously this is gonna be great. It's gonna satisfy that potential need. Uh, but if you're after something super sweet, you might just be better off with something like, you know, a bit of a piece of chocolate or something for the same amount of calories. But what we're after also in this is obviously a high protein hit. So this is giving you 11 grams of protein as well and part of my high protein diet this is going to help hit, hit my macros so i hope you found this useful guys if you do let me know give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my videos i'm always putting new uploads on my channel and i'll catch you in the next video